this is just one of the amazing murals supporting the Black Lives Matter movement that has been slashed right in the middle here and it's only been installed for three days. Sound Transit officials discovered many of the paintings were slashed sometime during the night of August 20th. They suspected the damage is racially motivated. The person's motivation, but there was certainly a disturbing emphasis on faces. The five-foot-high murals near the Leak Extension construction site included Northwestern and social justice images from local artists. To have something like that happen just feels like a personal attack against that. Artist Jasmine Brown explained that this is not the first time her paintings have been damaged. We got to the last piece that was underneath the West Seattle Bridge. Um, it had ba they basically removed like 80% of it and just left his tennis shoes and then spray painted stumps sticking out of the top of the tennis shoes. Some of the painters say that this act encouraged the importance of using their voice in the community. That's what I'm planning to do with my daughter, just have consistent conversation with her when she's able to kind of understand a little more about what people do and how and why. Sound Transit has since replaced the artwork and taking the proper measures to prevent future damages. Reporting from Federal Way, Washington, I'm Mariah Hill.